Hi everyone, so I know it's been uh, about a week or so since I last did a video after the challenge, but I just wanted to come on and say hi to everyone. And then also, um, yeah, talk a little bit about some of the other topics that I'm going to cover. And if anybody wants to comment, let me know what topic uh, you would want me to be interested in. I have been doing a lot of research on tinnitus, so I want to cover that. Because uh, so many people think that tinnitus is the cause, um, but it's actually a symptom. And it can be a symptom of a lot of different issues. Um, everything from just noise, uh, noise related hearing loss, to autoimmune disease. There's a couple different ones. Um, uh, Meniere's disease is one, and uh, AIED, autoimmune ear disease. So that's another one. And it can even be related to heavy metal toxicity. It can be related to eustachian tube dysfunction. It can be related to um, even uh, like high cardiovascular disease and, and high blood pressure. Some of those uh, can have tinnitus as a symptom. So if you're experiencing tinnitus, I really encourage you to uh, do a little research, uh, look at all of your symptoms and not just the tinnitus and see uh, what symptoms may correlate to a specific condition that could be causing the tinnitus. So don't, you know, you can do the, the masking devices, you can do the white noise and all of those, but also look at other uh, deeper issues. Remember, it's just a symptom. It's not the cause. I know it can be very frustrating. I get tinnitus myself, but it is uh, just a symptom. So I'm going to cover that in more detail. Um, I have also been doing a summit this week on uh, preventing sexual exploitation. And if you look at the research uh, women and children who, and men too, but uh, a lot of times, especially in the area of it, sexual exploitation, it is women and girls, um, and then younger boys. So, sorry if you hear that, it's a very noisy truck. But, uh, yeah, women and girls with uh, disabilities, including hearing loss, are much more likely to suffer some form of abuse, whether that's uh, violence, that could be domestic violence or just uh, other forms of violence, and sexual exploitation, and a lot of it really comes down to access and communication. So for those who have hearing loss, especially if, um, if they're deaf and they're not in a situation where they have someone that uh, can interpret for them. A lot of times there's a lot of obstacles to reporting the crime um, if it's someone that has another form of a disability and uh, they have the person who is abusing them is their caregiver. Uh, that can definitely cause a lot of issues and a lot of barriers to uh, being able to report and being able to get help. So I'm going to cover that. Um, that may be a little bit more of a sensitive topic but I think it's something that needs to be addressed and then yeah I would love to hear um, from you I've done research in various areas of hearing loss so I want to hear from you what topic topic you want me to cover all right so I'll talk to you all soon bye